Hey, 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 here we are again, sheltering in place, people. How you yes. doing? <laughs> sheltering in place. Here. Are you still crazy <laughs> yet or no? Oh my God, it's very interesting. I do feel rested though, I could say that. <laughs> yeah, no joke. I don't think I've ever rested so much in my life. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm making up for the last 30 years. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Seriously. Now, are you going stir crazy at all? Are you getting out at all just to take walks? Or what are you I'm doing? Not, well, no, I'm doing, I'm doing it like some, I'm doing a, at least an hour of workout a day. And so that's good. That's, but are you, know, you getting outside, like even for a walk? Yeah, yeah, totally. Walk. Like there, I, I live around a lot of trails, which is great. So um, it's been super nice. Oh, okay, cool. And, and nice. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, I, you know, I'll get out probably every other day for like half an hour. But, I, you know, I work out at home. You know, I'm trying to not to do with the, have you heard about this, the COVID, the COVID-15? Have you heard about this? No. So the COVID-15 is people gaining weight, 15 pounds, because of being indoors or eating oh. snacks and they're eating oh. all times of the day, right? Oh, I got to be careful with that because, you know, I'm from, uh, I'm from brown country. I'm Latin. And so we like our food like extra special. I know. That's, I know. I all agree. the time. It's right? hard, especially the kitchens right here. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right. Too. Yeah. And, and for some reason, they, my kitchen keeps texting me, hey, man, where you at? Right. <laughs> they want they want me to come and visit them all the time. So yeah, I exactly. gotta be careful. Exactly. Yeah, so I wanted to chat with you a little bit something off topic. I mean, I've been talking to a lot of people and I see the whole spectrum. There's some people that are still very, very positive. Hey, we're gonna get we're gonna get through this and you know, there's this whole unity thing now, which I'm so so happy to see because I think we're going old school again. Here's what I mean. People are starting to know who their neighbors are. Remember the remember the days you and I grew up. We knew all the neighbors, man. It was barbecue yeah. for sixty people. Then all of a sudden, right. that fell off because this bad boy started taking over. And all of a sudden, we thought we had seven thousand friends on Facebook. Yeah, no, you don't, homie. You don't have seven thousand friends. You got five, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And we got away from building community. And notice that the word community has unity at the end. We weren't very unified, right? We we're very, very divided as a country, not just because yeah. of political posturing, but we just became divided. It became them against us. And, and, and I could feel that even just locally, right? There was just kind of this feel of division. I think now we're starting to see people becoming unified again. So I wanted to chat a little bit about what can we do during this, what I call SIP, right? The shelter in place and the six feet social distancing. What can we do to just kind of really not give up on our dreams? Because we all had dreams coming into this and it seems like the world just went, and stopped rotating for a second. Like what do we do to stay focused on the ball so that when we're up the bat, it doesn't hit us in the face that we can still hit, if not home runs, we're hitting singles, we're hitting doubles, we're hitting triples, but we're still in the game. What, what are you doing? And what are some of recommendations that you make to stay the course? Well, I'm doing a lot of learning. Um, I'm also, you know, so learning a lot of things that I probably put aside because I was really busy. So yeah. just learning things, actually finishing off like uh, if I had emails that were kind of in my inbox that I needed to address, I'm addressing all of them. Um, staying in touch with people is super important. You know, human connection is really great. Tech, actually taking time to have conversations and talk to them. Yeah. And, um, and taking care of like going out for walks and breathing fresh air and just, you know, just staying positive because, you know, we, so you and I, we connected really kind of like the, during the last downturn, right? It was like a little yeah. bit after the 2008. And just realizing, yeah, that was different. And this is going to be very different. But all our hard times are challenging. And we just have to really adapt. And we have to stay strong. And we have to just be nimble and just keep moving and keep our head up, even if we feel like we're at a loss or we really don't know what's going on. I mean, giving up is not going to help us, right? So we definitely have to just keep our head up, be adaptable, learn talk to your people, vent to people that you have, like your good people, like your friends, you know, get it out of your chest if you're feeling frustrated. Just uh, to, allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to talk it out so you can get it off your chest, right? Like 
Yeah, you know, have you ever heard of a lady by the name of Brene Brown? No. So she did a TED Talk that became like the number one TED Talk. It just blew up. She's a psychiatrist. And her whole TED Talk was about you cannot have courage without being vulnerable. And she's even now started training military, which, you know, in military, you're not supposed to be vulnerable. You're supposed to be strong. Mm. Put your emotions aside. Well, that's not realistic. We're human beings. At the end of the day, no matter what your position is, no matter what status you have in life, the reality is that we're all human beings with feelings. Now, yeah. some of us deal with those feelings in different ways, but I think now, and you mentioned it, more than ever, it's important to be vulnerable. I'll never forget, you know, I heard this statement that says that um, intimacy is really phonetics for into me see allow people to see who you really are allow mm -hmm. yourself to be vulnerable because it's very very cathartic and right now look if there's a good thing that's coming out of this is that it's creating more unity and i mentioned to you that even the word community has the word unity at the yeah. end we've yeah. been very divided and no absolutely. now we're all coming together we're we're taking the time to get to know our neighbors because we're asking them, are you okay can i get your stuff you know, that empathy that we saw after 9-11 is back, where we're uniting as a country. That's what we right? need. And as a, but this time it's global. Yeah. You know, the good news is that we have technology. Look, we're doing it now. Yeah. You know, we a, could be anywhere in the world doing these Zooms. Instantly we're connected. Use those technologies to stay face-to-face. -face. Because there is a big difference between making a phone call to a friend and just seeing their smile, seeing their face. It's very, yeah. very different. Use this technology to stay connected. Make more of these calls. Reach out. And also, read a lot. Because, you know, whatever you learn, great time to impart that and give other people resources because maybe they haven't read what you read, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a great time to collaborate, I think, because we're all reading different things and learning different things. The other thing I'm going to say is limit your intake of negative information. Right. Yes, it's important to stay, stay up to breath, about things but don't obsess over every second of what the coronavirus is doing because yeah. it's going to sink into your subconscious and it's going to depress you right now we're at a huge risk of depression and even i'm going to go out on the limb and say suicide you know we already saw i think it was the chancellor of of germany he jumped in front of a train it looks like they found his body on the train tracks not to be negative but i'm just saying that these things are happening in order to calm that Mm -hmm. we need to reach out we need to read positive things there's a lot of, you know youtube is great for even like pull up comedians andrew right. schultz is a good guy by the way uh sebastian yeah. maniscalco is another great guy if you're feeling down watch these guys on youtube they'll pull you right back up really quick because they're super funny so andrew schultz and, and, and sebastian maniscalco are two people that i watch all the time i'm intaking yeah. a lot of stuff you know i'm reading a lot but i'm also watching a lot of really motivational youtube stuff that Really, you know, something somebody says can just strike up an emotion or strike up an idea. For Make sure. sure that you're writing things down too, that you journal ideas that you have. Don't give up on your dreams. You know, you might have to snooze them for a little bit, but if you're able to fulfill those dreams, don't put it on hold. Don't wait. If you can, do. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And then I hear that too for people that have worked so much, who are commuting for a long, you know, for, for many hours. It's actually a great time to spend time with your family, even, you know, your household, your spouse. Um, a lot of times, you know, I did a Zoom call the other day and someone was like, actually, I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually being able to spend some great time with my family and my kids. And so, you know, there are, there's definitely, there's always two sides of it, right? There's a, there's a lot of, um, a lot of uncertainty right now. And then there's yeah. also the good side of it is what we can, you know, we could always make good use of our time and really um, not fall into the, the negative side of it, but really just stay positive and see what good is coming out of all of this. I agree. It's, uh, you know, I'm reconnecting with friends that I haven't talked to in years. And I look back and think to myself, boy, did I make myself that busy? Was I that busy? I didn't have time to say hi to some of these friends. You know, now I'm really, you know, just look, uh, for me, this is a big reboot. You know, I'm hitting that reboot button, right? I'm going to change things, how I do things. Yeah. And, and part of my thinking is like, man, I was so busy. But 
I didn't make time to make those important calls. Yeah. Like, did I lose my way? Did I focus on the wrong thing? Because, you know, let's be honest, a lot of us, especially in the high density cities like San Francisco, you know, status and money and things. And we, we sometimes, or a lot of times, see that as the value proposition of who we are as human beings. That that's exactly. how we think people are going to value, love, and respect us. Look, your real friends, they don't care. They don't yeah. care what you drive and where you live. They're going to love on you no matter what. And the true sign of a friend is they come towards you when times are tough. They're not walking away. They're walking towards. Make yeah. sure that you surround yourself with your tribe, the right people. Absolutely. Super important in these times. And that you become that person to them as well. That you become that tribe member that calls on them just to say hello, to check in, make sure they're okay. You know, sometimes, you know, it might be you start a GoFundMe page for somebody that's really, really hurting. You know, look, if you're in the restaurant industry and you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, times are tough. You and I were talking about it. Imagine that person that's up there in age who's been in the restaurant business their whole life. And maybe they're not an owner of the restaurant. They work there. It's kind of hard to get a job if you're older than 50. And if you're in the restaurant business, which is pretty much dead, and that's all you know, where are you going to get a job? Yeah. But that's a tough, tough thing. But I think it is important to stay connected and to stay with family. Come here. Yes. Come here. I just want you to say hi. Just come and say hi for a second. Come here. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you one of the reasons why, why I'm alive. Hi. This is my boy, my little handsome boy. See, uh, this is the reason why I do things. See, uh, this, this, this is how you do it. You got to stay connected, stay with your family. Hey, Val, come and say hi to my son. She's in the background asking me questions. And, you know, she's, she just came back from a. Oh, uh, okay. Say hi to Val. Hi. <laughs> Here's my little guy. I don't know if you ever seen him. Yeah, so, when, when he's a little he, younger. Yeah, yeah. We have, a little younger. Yeah, he's all big now. He's he's driving yeah. me around now. <laughs> but you know, and I think that that's that's it. I mean, we should call it a wrap. And just all the things that we talked about, I think, are so important. And by the way, on that note, if you want to get a hold of us, like we're really good listeners. I know we talk a lot because it's the nature of doing videos. But we're really good videos. If you're watching this and you need to talk. Please reach out to us. How can they get a hold of you? Fucking? Yes, actually, it's true. If you want someone just to talk to, to vent, um, no judgment, you know, just kind of just, yeah, no. um, my number is 415-756-4418. And how about you, Dan? Good. And if you need to get a hold of me or want to get a hold of me, it's 415-368-1149. Send me a text. You know, I, I'll put down what I'm doing if, if you need to talk and we'll make the time. All right. As always, this has been great. It's always good to actually go off a topic and not just always talk about real estate and mortgages, right? It's to Absolutely. bring the humanity into things. Well, stay healthy. Have a great day and uh, I'll be in touch. Take care. All right. Take care.